Hey folks, Quilly Team here and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Wednesday Sim Stream. I'm happy you could all be here for some come here because I think we're going to invade Australia and take their beer. Alright, that was pretty forced, I'm sorry. Uh, let's get the main screen turned on and get the shoe on the road. Oh, it's black screen. Let's get the capture going. On oh, civilization. There we go. Hey, everything is good. Microphone's in the way. How is everyone doing? Uh, we are kind of snowed in over here. We had a late start to winter. We were very happy going into the start of December with um, effectively no snow. We, it snowed and kept going away. It was like, wow, that was a miracle. And then, like, over the last 24 hours, I went, we went from having basically no snow to the snowbank at the end of, like, on, on, in my yard is well over a meter tall. We got um, uh, something in the last 24 hours. We got, well, ending like late yesterday. So yesterday and all that. We got something like 30 centimeters of snow, like a full foot of snow. And like winds going from 50 to 100 kilometers an hour gusts. Like the, the, the city was effectively shut down. And yet, Essentia, Burrowstone, uh, A Kiss for Luck, and myself made out anyway in the afternoon. We went to see um, the Nutcracker Ballet from the Bolshoi Theater cast in the uh, the local uh, movie uh, theater here, which was kind of cool. And then we went out for some Indian food, which was delightful. Had a lovely day, despite the fact that the weather truly, truly, truly was frightful. Uh, speaking of uh, frightful weather, um, California, I think you should stop hunting boomalopes because those wildfires are getting a little bit out of control. Uh, I saw some people talking about it in the chat. Uh, and uh, it sounds like so far everyone is okay. Hopefully that is still the case. Let's scrooch this down a little because apparently we're getting just a sliver of ceiling as opposed to green screen. Looks okay now. Excellent. Woo! You're pretty damn big for me today. What, am I on like your TV screen or something? So I think I think my, my little, you know, uh, web camera place is still the same. Potion of invisibility. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Remember all you needed some rain into the stop. Well, I mean, given enough rain and no more goddamn wind, I think those those wildfires fires would go out pretty darn quick. But it's always a combination of uh, of dryness and high winds. I mean, oof, we've got enough. Uh... Hey, it's Baron Two. It's Baron Two. Um, we've got enough of uh, of a forest around here that forest fires are always a thing. Uh, where we are, it's Baron Two. Uh, thank you very much, Baron. Howdy, Quill. Thanks for liberating me from the Congo. I've never been a big jungle guy. Here's a Christmas donation slash gift for you. Thanks for the awesome year of entertainment. Well, thank you very much, Baron. That was very nice of you. I am, like, getting super pumped for the holidays. I'm the sort of person I will celebrate all the things all the time. Like, any excuse to have a party, um, uh, I will take it. So we try to cram as many things in as possible. So I always... Always love, you know, this time of year. It's fantastic, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I have basically none of my shopping done, though. I gotta get my shit together. Anywho! <laughs> um, oh, yeah, Anakin, we, or Akinin. I keep saying Anakin, because, you know, it's close. Um, I have talked about the expansion. I'm really excited for the expansion. I'm not gonna go through the details again, but I made a video about it and everything, sort of breaking down some of the things. Uh, excited about seeing the Netherlands back in as well. Looking forward for all the announcements, and man, I can't wait to get my hands on uh, on Rise and Fall. Anywho, we are here to kick ass and steal all the kangaroos. Um, so, it is the year 1800. We're playing as the Khmer on Deity Difficulty. It's a continent's map. We had a really harsh slow start delayed by some very annoying barbarians who were in a place where we wanted to settle to hopefully get the petra we got beaten to the petra by a little bit we also went and invested a lot of effort into getting a religion just because it was fun that did slow us down a fair bit uh and congo was doing its normal thing where it just like runs away with science but we were finally able to just smash the heck out of them and take um let's see i think baron two was our first one so one two three four five six cities from congo i think that is oh seven i'm not no i think that i counted that one so six cities we took come from congo indonesia took one from them as well uh and the problem is that australia though 
uh, is also pursuing a science victory very hard. Congo was, but Australia's got a launch pad in every one of their cities. We did blow up the one in Canberra. Um, I'm pretty sure that was us. Pretty sure that was us. And I don't think any others are blown up. So we got to go after these guys before they go and build some spaceships and leave us behind. But we do have our invasion force moving over there now. And I think we're going to be all right. I think we're going to be all right. Yeah, that factory artillery train. I know I'm pumped about that. Do we have oil? Actually, we have a shocking amount of oil. We have one land-based oil over here. Uh, I think that's the only land-based oil, but you can see we've got tons of little sea-based oils over here if we got plastics. Um, I don't think it's going to be required for us to do that. I think we'll be okay. We've got um, artillery armies. We've got traditional infantry armies. Um, but Australia doesn't have a huge military force. At 554, a fairly broad terrain. A lot of their troops are up north because they've been skirmishing up there. I think we can go and ninja some stuff in the south very, very quickly. One of the interesting questions will be, when we take Canberra, not if, when, when we take Canberra, which is their capital, what's the next city going to be? And I think it goes by population, doesn't it? I think so. So Newcastle will be the next one, which is a little bit annoying because we'd probably like to end up with Newcastle as well. Oh, Jerusalem. Because um, we really have to go and spank them super hard because all their cities have freaking um, launch pads. I mean, if we whittle it down a bit, they might not have the science or the production or whatever to, to put the effort in, and we can maybe keep our spies going. But other than that, we'll see how it goes. Don't they get a massive bonus on attack? Yeah, it's fine. We'll be fine. Anywho, I think we can go and jump into the next turn right away. Our science rate is tops because we did steal all those universities from Congo. That being said, um, we're still like behind on sheer number of techs. But we do have a lot of boosts overall, so hopefully it's not going to be too bad. And who knows what will happen once we get some uh, some techs like nukes, for example. Willem Julius, thank you very much for the contribution to the Whiskey and Chalk Fund. Uh, and El Canindo Sub-6, how hyped are you to bring back those polars? By the way, you can sail on them? I will be away next week, so Merry Christmas in advance. Greetings from here, Hugo War, Netherlands. Well, thank you very much, Willem. Uh, and yeah, polders being back, and they're sexy polders. They're cool polders. Uh, just a note, next week we're going to be streaming on Tuesday instead of Wednesday. Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So same time, just on Tuesday instead of Wednesday as a bye-to-bye. Um, and there probably won't be a stream on the 27th. Uh, because I'm going to be away for the holidays. Um, the third, I'll have to let you know. Okay, let's next turn. Can you build bombers? Um, I, 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 I can't remember if we've got... We don't have advanced flight, no. So we could, we could build biplanes, but that's it. We do have access to airfields, though, because we captured a bunch of them. Bum, 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 bum. Attack them from down under. That's totally what we're doing. Uh, holy sites, combined arms. Ideas lead to ideology. Ideology lead pop. To that's good. An extra spy is excellent. Uh, we don't need to run police state. I think we still want Machiavellianism. Build the spy faster. Do the operations faster. I think that's perfect. Our gold per turn, we're only doing 10 per turn right now, so we're going to keep Merchant Confederation. Uh, Living on mass. Wars of Religion is also going to be handy, so I think we're going to keep running that. There's something to be said about switching to propaganda, though. This is why we need fascism. Darn it. So we can run more military policies. Um... And that is what we're working towards. Yeah. Totalitarianism. Three turns. Oh, that's going to be fine. So in three turns, we can switch over to propaganda because we'll have some extra slots. Perfect. An alliance expired. Uh, well, we're clearly going to do an alliance with Australia. Indonesia, I'm a little bit worried we might have to start some stuff over there. I'll see if Freddy is willing to be friends. No. Um, so I think we'll just leave it at that. Would you give me monies? You'd give me some monies for this. Let's do that. Okay. We do have a lot of trade routes going to Australia. Um, and so they will go and get exploded once the war starts. But that is that. Um, I wonder if we should just focus entirely on building military. Or if I should invest in some more science buildings. The question is just how much game is there left? Now, this is a place with an encampment, so I feel like it's probably a good idea 
You know what? Build me an anti-tank crew army. If we can build armies somewhere, like, because it's a lot more efficient, we will do that. But yeah. Uh, we still have some Inquisitors all over the place, ready to surprise people in unexpected ways. And I think we're good to go. This is why we need fascism. Quillotine, any year. It's true! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, what is that quote? Um, a dictatorship sounds great, as long as I'm the dictator. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, these guys are getting each other's way. Yes, I know about the policy change. Next turn. Uh, if you look closely, you can bear a couple of battle cruisers. Um, we do have one. We have a, one place that can build battleships. Like we're looking for like battleship armies or something. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. I mean, <laughs> research room for future tech. So they finished the entire tech tree or something. I don't know. I guess they're just looking for a boost to it. Anyway, um, I think we like we do have the harbor and stuff set up there, but otherwise we don't really have ships. So it might come up, but use the port section to check on your units. But but why? But for what? Actually, the I guess the status, these are all the moving ones. So if we had any, like, standing still. I don't know what the context for you should check on your units was. Was that in response, like, if we have a battleship? And I'm pretty sure we didn't. The question was more or less, can I build any? Who that? It's Dem Demelts? Demelts! Hey, thank you very much! Nice to take a break from finals week to watch some Civ Six. Are you ever going to finish Lizardman's story for Total War Warhammer 2? Never saw the end. Um, I'm hoping to play some more Total War soon. Uh, if nothing else, just the laboratory or like the, the non-Warhammer Total War as well. I'm, I'm hoping to. Uh, we've got a few too many things on our plate right now, but if some of these series start to finish up, then, then we'll see. Last time I saw this game, Congo was still big and scary. Yeah! Well, they're big and scary, but they're also me now, so... It's a little less bad. We got a lone infantry. I don't know if we've got something to merge him with. Oh, we got a few loners. That's that's what it is. So they can merge up when they get close by. What map size is easiest for religious victory? Well, probably just fewer people. I don't know. <laughs> Quillatine is the Borg. <laughs> so we could like pre-denounce these guys or anything, but I, I don't really care about our our diplomacy at this point. I mean, what's the difference, right? Dual map versus Congo. That would be an easy way to uh, to win a religious victory, I suppose. Uh, so here we are going to go and queue up a spy. And yeah, some one of our cities has a religion where you can faith buy a uh, research lab, which is nice. Let me get an archaeologist here. Get an extra builder, because we do need to hook up those oils at some point. Not that we have plastics yet, but we can do the ground-based one at least. This might be go time. Well, not, not right now, but... Next turn might be go time. I don't know. Who that? Roram! Thank you very much! To keep the stocks up through New Year's. Oh, the chocolate and whiskey fun. Because, well, if I'm going to be going to visit my parents for the holidays, which I am, I'm definitely going to have to bring uh, some whiskey over there. So we'll be dipping into the whiskey and chocolate fun for that. Thank you very much. Oh, oh you guys always know how to guarantee I have a good time. Uh, you move up here. Yeah, I need to get out of their territory. Like, presumably I can declare war, right? There's nothing stopping me from... I'm still allied with them? When does that end? So I guess it's not go time yet. Mm, that's just deal. How do we know what our timer is for the Alliance? I don't think I would have renewed it very recently. 
So it'll probably go away soon. Seven turns. Oh, where did you spot that? You guys have better eyes than me all the time, so. I scrolled past it. Oh, down here! Ah, my eyes jumped from here down to here. Thank you very much. Seven turns. Okay. So in turn, uh, all right, let's do that. So, eh, so we move some, the rest of our troops down here. We get them shuffled up. We could actually get even more stuff to the front. Now they might start repositioning some stuff since I'm visible. You should denounce me for being a warmonger. Listen, I've only really taken one person's cities. Yeah, we took a lot of them. America's just making more cities. They're like, this is fine. Let's just keep making cities forever. The ultimate be all right. end of any ideology. Okay. So, fascism. I hear fascism is pretty great. So let's do that. Eureka. Excellent. Um, so, I mean, we can't start a new war right now anyway, apparently. But I think I'll still go and run both martial law and propaganda. Because I think we still have... Some weariness that might be lingering around. We'll see. I mean, we could do something else. Have you, like, cavalry units? Eh. Like, Grand Army to make more troops, which is fine. But I'm still worried about our finances here. Um, I mean, although that number got reset because I think of the government change. So we might still want to run some pro-money stuff. I mean, our trade routes are about to get exploded. So triangular trade might not be good in the short run. We do have a fair amount of markets and banks and stuff. I'm actually wondering if I just run free market for a little bit. Free market fascism. Oh, there's a missile cruiser out there. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll just have to get the hell out of the uh, ocean pretty fast. That is really powerful, though, with the armada. That is very scary. Um, in terms of next thing to go for, I don't know if there's anything we're really needing to worry. I'll pick up Opera and Ballet over here, uh, because of the Envoys, and it's fairly cheap, and we've got the boost and everything. Um, and then we'll probably just keep picking up whatever we have boosts for. I mean, we don't have to unlock more, um... That might be handy. We don't have to unlock more governments or anything, probably. <laughs> Excuse me. No, I know they don't um, change all reader crude war weariness. I was just saying it might be extra important to do it just because we're going to have some war weariness kicking around here. Can you merge your guys while you're at sea? Yes, you can. Oh, well, that's nice. Okay. Thank you for the blessings. Uh, I do have a horse unit. But he's, he's, not, um, he's not a core or an army, so I don't really have a lot of faith in his ability to go and blow up a lot of stuff internally here. Um, we're just going to be running high production internal trade routes now. It's going to be our entire thing for any that come up. Because wars are, are much, much too likely. So we're here. Oh, because there is a rocketry center in Indonesia. That's right. So we're going to gain some sources here and then start blowing up Indonesia's stuff. here, but it's only going to be strength 50. Wait, what was that? What was that? It's Mugafuga! Mugafuga! Thank you very much! I have no idea if that's the way you want your name pronounced, but I like it because it almost kind of sounds dirty, which I suspect might be the point. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, I missed one from Mankind Air, and Tuna the Titan. Sorry about that. Tuna the Titan. Excellent name, by the way. Hey, Quill, started watching back when you're doing U4 with NL Mathis and Roomba. Those were good times. Uh, I was all right in October when there was a fire not far from my house. Jeez, what is with all these fires? Happy holiday, Tuna the Titan. Thank you very much, Tuna. And Mankind Air says fascism all the way. All right, Mankind Air, letting us know uh, how he feels. And Mugafuga! <laughs> uh, thank you so much for whiskey and goodies and, of course, for Petra. 
I'm always happy when I can see your streams. Well, I'm always happy when I get to say your name. So thank you very much for that. Uh, oh, good. Quill hasn't lost this game yet. I don't... I mean, unless, like... Like, there's just a sudden thing from Australia, which is entirely possible. Because, again, they've mostly been... You know, I need notices when they launch more bits. Australia, same thing. And you're a little further behind. And culture-wise... We should be okay. I don't think anyone's going to ninja a culture victory. Assuming we beat up Australia successfully here, then two things. One, the biggest threat is gone. And two, uh, it means we can target someone like, say, the US in case they decide to start something. You're going to give me Frankenstein. Well, that's different. You know what? I, I will take your great work, Cleopatra. I don't need the iron. The second nighter is not important anymore. I'm just going to do it. Just because. Boop, 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 boop. Zeon, hey! Mr. Noble Gas. Decided to watch live again. Recently started a game of Civ and spawned right next to Norway's settler. I immediately declared war and stole their settler before they could place their city. See, I keep seeing screenshots of stuff like that on the Civ Reddit. I've never had that happen to me. That sounds awesome. Uranium! The chief incalculable in war. Okay, we have uranium here. Technically within my borders, but just barely. Not workable. And uranium over here, which we've already got a district or something on, which means we have access to it. That's awesome. We don't have a lot, but we have just enough. Just enough to get this stuff going. Uh, so you have your harbor. Oh, but we don't have, like, the seaport to, like, build a turbo whatever. Um... I might still want to start slowly building up some naval troops, just to say. Still have housing. You're still getting a lot of your happiness from luxuries. Actually, you know what? Clearing more luxuries continues to be a good idea. That's what we will try to keep doing here. Shuffling them around if we can. Um, oh, this is a place where we can build armies directly, so I will do so. Um... Let's go ahead and build an infantry army in Quilla. For some reason, the city named after me is uh, militaristic. What a surprise. So, I guess we can just sleep these guys at this point. Now, no one tell Australia what we're planning here. They come knocking, we'll just say, no, no, we're just passing through, totally. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Nukes, nukes, nukes. So we have a builder on the way. Uh, one's going to be to hook up the oil over here, just for more production in Lamphere, I guess. But the other one will be to go down to the uranium, wherever it was, which is down here. Um, so that's going to be good and groovy. I mean, there might be some more uranium just outside my borders or something. But at a glance, I don't see it. And I mean, as long as we got two, we got what we need. You're getting buffering? Oh. I've got no drop frames over here. So as far as I know, everything's A-OK -okay, um, from my end. Oh, I've already got a worker coming over here to hook that up. Cool, okay. We'll hook that up. Give us a boost on plastics. That's nice. You go and sleep and go. You're just protecting because you're ally. That's right. I don't think that they'll tell me to move my troops while we have an alliance. Since I can't actually declare war. But, like, the turn after. Twitch is being twitchy. Mm. What is this? Peace treaties, peace treaties. Oh, it's Congo and Indonesia. Tech boost, city-state things. Ballet projects a fragile kind of strength and a certain. I wonder if someone's built the Bolshoi. Precision. I like the Bolshoi. Uh, so we can change policies, but for great people, meh. Grand Opera. That is a lot of culture, but although we don't have many of those buildings. Um, we'll pick up, I don't know, nuclear program. Send envoys. Now, this is interesting. I don't think we've gotten anything much on this continent. Well, there's Toronto over here, which we did put some... Oh, no, we didn't put any in this game. Toronto's got a pretty good bonus, but yeah. Um, you, you. I think we're going to try to flip Stockholm here. The great person's points aren't critical, but at least we'll do this. We'll become their suzerain. Just in case. And then, um... Let's make sure to keep Cobble on our side by investing a bit. Because the bonus XP is kind of nice. It's done It's done well for us. I think it's worth investing. 
So you're going to disrupt rocketry over here. So we're going to try to mess with Indonesia as much as we can. Hello. Goodbye. Um, where's the other guy? Right over here. You. Get there. Sleep. Sleep. So I think it was on turn 81 that we could do it. I guess I could... Uh, no, not you. Maybe I can get like a one-time gold deal from you. Wouldn't that be funny? Do you want coal or horses? No, you're not interested in those things. I don't have any luxuries to like try to sell you. Well, I suppose I could sell a uh, non... Like something I don't have more than one of. For just a ton of money. The turn before we go. Like the turn before the alliance breaks. It's on turn 80. Let's see if we can do that. That doesn't, like, reset our uh, peace timer or something weird like that, does it? Da -da -da -da. Question on E4. How do you deal with coalition as Byzantium? May have expanded too quickly. Mm, same as any other way you handle a coalition. Either, like, <laughs> be better than them or sit real tight. Defensive alliances. It's always nice. Okay, one of the things you can do with a coalition is let's say there's, you know, there's five people in a coalition, okay? But this guy here is allied to some other person who's not in a coalition. What you can do is you can declare war on this person. That will drag in his ally, but not trigger the rest of the coalition. And then this person will have a truce timer with you, so they will have to leave the coalition at that point. Little things like that. And keep rotating truce timers so that at any given time you've got a truce with, you know, half of your possible opponents. Doing stuff like that's always kind of nice. But, you know, whatever you declare war for, you you got to be careful because you get more aggressive expansion, bad things can happen. But if you can, get, like, get away with a humiliation or just taking money or something like that, um, it's a good way to kill some time. Uh, get you your research lab. That's going to be fine. Go ahead and get yourself a zoo. Yeah, and a little extra happiness will be good. Uh, Pickles, you can get your military academy so you can start making army type stuff as well. Um, so we have, we need Indonesian spies. We have one. Where's, hang on, I skipped Indonesia, didn't I? I guess I can do this, right? Yes. With a space center. Okay, yeah, they've got a bunch. God damn. So I think I'll go to Badung, because I don't have a spy there. I mean, they're not building anything. Hong Kong, not that I can see, and that's actually where my, my one spy is. What? I'm confused. Where's... Oh, your launch pad is there, and I don't see anything on the launch pad. Nor in Jambi. Nor over here. I think I can basically go anywhere. I don't, I'll go here. What? Oh, right. Zone of control. Let's have our rap battles of religion. Which we have won. Um, oh, did I finish plastics when I got the boost? No. No, I was going to say. it's it, Right, the highlighting. Because I was just looking at the purple. The highlighting doesn't actually pay attention to your... Um, your tech. So I'm just going to run you all the way down here to get the uranium hooked up for us. Try to get a joint war on Australia with America. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, can I, like, is there any way to, like, get around the truce timer by doing something like this? Do you need, like, friendship or an alliance or something to have it as an option? He has denounced me as well, so I don't know. Might just not be a thing. Boom. Army up. Epic rap battles of religion. <laughs> just your husband trying to take over the world. Nothing out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. Standard stuff.
amenities, Anything housing, if you ballistics. Uh, I guess we'll do more repairs over here. They're pretty quick. And they'll improve the um, production pretty fast as well. You can go here and rest and heal. And you can go here, rest and heal. And we're going to dig up some artifacts. Just, you know, the closest ones. It's fine. We're not going to be too picky or too aggressive. So yeah, great scientist or spy to boost nuclear fission. I think we'll just research it the hard way and that's going to be okay. Um, no. We did a lot of works. We did steal a bunch. Joint war against... Yeah, no, he's not an option because I think we've got the... Well, the alliance. I say the truce timer, but, you know, same thing. Work filter does take tech into account. Okay, maybe it takes into account the fact that I have oil, but it doesn't realize I don't have plastic, so I can't actually go and improve that. Because it's huddling and it's purple. Purple. Armor that we can't work on. You got the amenities. You could use some housing. Like, I don't know if it's, there's time to, like, you know, start all the neighborhooding up. And I do want to bank money because we're going to be doing some upgrades at some point. It's probably... Oh, I don't actually have these tiles. Let's invest in one for a neighborhood here. The Venetian Arsenal can be built there too, which would be nice. Choose Artifact. Uh, let's go with... Oh my god! It's that painting! It's that fresco! <laughs> I'm assuming this is what they're referencing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is like one of the best things to happen to the church, <laughs> that church ever. Because apparently it was a fairly like generic piece of, you know, work that looked like a hundred others. Um, but now it's like super famous. I mean, it looked nice. The original looked nice, but it was like, it was unremarkable in any way whatsoever. <laughs> so now it's like, you know, sometimes it's just a happy little accident. Okay, turn 180. So it's a, just the, it's the Bob Ross treatment is what it is. Just beware of the drop bears. Uh, how about no? Alright. Oh, wait, now it's a... The release of atom power has changed everything except okay. our way of But we're thinking. still we're still allied now, so I guess next turn will go away. Lies in the heart of mankind. We're not really stealing tech boost, so I think we can live without that. Um, we'll grab, uh, sure, professional sports. Just things we have discounts for. You are going to sabotage rocketry. Only 50% chance. That's not great, but hopefully you'll get some more experience. You go over here. So, okay, here's what I want to do. Just in case this messes something up in a weird way. I will quick save. Because, we'll just verify. I can't declare war. So, I... Oh, you spent all your money! You bastard! I was like... I would like to give you coffee. For all your money. I mean, gold per turn is not going to matter here. I guess we'll get, like, money for one turn. He really wants coffee. Oh, my God. Do this research agreement. Would that work? He's improving military, probably. Oh, great work. That's a good idea. Grass cutting sword. You'd do it. And all your money. You'd do it. All right, we'll just do that. We'll take Grass Cutting Sword and all his cash on hand. Yeah, assuming we've got space for artifacts. We've got a lot of buildings and stuff. It's fine. We're not, we're not even going to bother checking. Um, yeah, I don't need those policies. So next turn, we go to war. I see my alliance expired with her. Of course he needs coffee. All that science thing. That's right. Coffee does drive all progress forever. So it makes sense. I don't think I'm going to re-up with Indonesia because we may have to go and declare war on her sooner rather than later. 
<laughs> Ignore this request. Because <laughs> I want to declare on my turn, not on his. But yeah, wow, he, he was really, like, anxious. The second the alliance went down, he's like, wait a minute. Right, you can get your factory going. Um, that's fine. Okay, uh, you will gain sources. You will dig that up. Uh, sure, we'll do that one. You got a coin. Well, that's nice. Mm, we actually are full up on books. And you can come a little closer this way. Keep an eye on things. All right. So, um... That's a solo missile cruiser. I don't know where the missile cruiser armada went. And that's a solo mechanized infantry. Let's do it! Instant suspicion. Australia knows Quill well. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um, hey, listen. Would you do a joint war? Against John Curtin? For seven gold and seven gold per turn. May as well just do it, right? Maybe she's got ships and she can mess with him. I mean, America doesn't like me, otherwise I'd ask him. I'll, maybe it's conceivable, but... I think we've been denounced by America, and I don't think that we can do a joint war with him, no. So I think that's the only one that makes sense. Let's make a deal. Let's do a war on drugs. I mean, a joint war. <laughs> no, I'm sure she won't help, but it might mess with things. And again, if there's any sort of, like, ships or something like that, it's basically a seven gold per turn, oh, man, like, nudge in the right direction. So he's unhappy because I declared war on someone with the same continent as him. So it's probably not going to do anything, but, you know, it's not like the AI is going to end up with a big edge because I did that. All right, let's plot our landing here. Are you amphibious? How do you... Wait, hold on. How do you check his promotions? Guys, I'm sh there's got to be a way. Oh, you don't have a promotion. I'm just seeing the three stars thing. No, no, you're not level two yet. How come we can do that? Is it because of the harbor? Why can we get that far? Okay. Okay. You go and just stand here for a second. <laughs> oh my god, Quill. You don't just go around calling people amphibious. <laughs> uh, that's good. Is it because of the harbor? I don't think I've ever noticed this. So... I'm just trying to figure out. I'm going to have to put my artillery quite close to the front. Well, I guess I can put this one here. Oh, except the zone of control messes with things. Uh, which means... Well, I can move the balloon to here, which will let this one fire. Oh. Oh, this one had a balloon. They both have balloons. Excellent. Everyone's got balloons. They went. They went to the the zoo. Um. I'm gonna go here and be ready to offload there next turn. And you can't do nothing at all. Nor can you. Other than. Oh, I still have a unit there. Um. You're not going to be able to move here. You're going to be stacked. But hopefully we can still skip to the next turn. So I'm going to get this one to stand here. And I'm going to put like the cavalry um, here. I do know there was a missile cruiser right there recently. I'm going to have the cavalry sort of like draw fire away from my artillery.
I feel like I'm abusing the game. One unit per tile? What is... Uh, no, I, I know stacked units can't fire, but they wouldn't have been able to fire anyway. Because they don't have the move and shoot promotion. I think the harbor's really messing up things. It didn't let me and then it did. Whatever. This is fine. It's great, because I can get more stuff, uh, uh, like, on land and ready to attack next time. It's, yeah, it's AI derping because of the zone of control. Ooh, okay. That sucks that it did get that artillery. Yay, disrupted rocketry. Nice. Um, we are going to faith buy this research lab. Thank you very much. And then you are going to build a tank army for me. Thank you. You don't have a promotion or anything. So what I would like to do is travel to a new city. Did I send someone to Badung? I don't think so. We should list this, like, if these things are blown up or anything, or list if you've got a spy already. But I don't, I don't think I sent one there. Okay, let's see here. With zone of control, maybe... Why is it not showing this guy's zone of control? Because there's no way I should be allowed to make this move. Oh, well, hold on, that's cavalry. I thought I was moving the infantry here. Oh yeah, this situation is making a lot more sense. Anyway. Um, you're going to move up to here. The field cannon... Is going to move up in front because it's a little bit more expendable. This artillery is going to go there. We're going to ignore the uh, missile cruiser. We're going to focus entirely on taking down the city defenses as quickly as possible. Well, there's something you said about popping this unit. Like, we've got to take the city. Oh, you can do this. Major victory. Tell you what. Cavalry will take it. It'll probably just get bombarded and killed by the city or something in a second anyway. Actually, this guy should have just fired on the ship, but it doesn't matter. And you're just going to sit tight here. And you're going to link. You're going to offload here, because you can't get bombarded by the city, which is going to be fine. The archaeologist is going to go over there. Um, we've already got an tr internal trade route coming from Chaos Lord. Um, what I think I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to move you to Gandhi Nuke me. We might use that as a shipbuilding thing. Uh, the Inquisitor, you are good where you are. Trade route from here, highest production. Yeah, go that way, that's going to be fine. This Inquisitor is going to chill as well. We've got ourselves our anti-tank crew army. Nice Indonesian settler there. Um, I mean, I might want to leave my borders defended here, but I don't think we need it. What could possibly go wrong? Trade route from here? You can just go to table, it's going to be okay. And a trade route here for good production. Yeah, production over food is going to be fine. Okay. There's a good chance, depending on what kind of units suddenly flow out of Australia and whether they change a policy that makes things a lot more brutal, I feel that Sydney's just going to fall next turn. Oh, rebuild traders. Yeah. Check instant war awareness. That would also be a good idea. All right, we're okay. Did get encampment bombarded? Warmonger. Psh. Oh, this guy got encampment bombarded. Yeah, fair enough. These are just singletons and cores. Like, if these were mechanized infantry armies, it'd be a little scarier, but... As is, I don't know. Australians! Quill has come to, um, liberate you from your impressive government! Basking your freedom! Uh-huh. Well, I hear that totalitarianism is totally awesome. So... That, that's what that's going to be my sales pitch right there. 
All right, walls are gone. I guess I'll take this bombard here too. And any chance I could take it as is stalemate. I mean, that may or may not be true, but I guess I'll go ahead and take the bombard there. We do have a freighter here we can also grab. All right, so we flipped you. I gotta get this guy out of the way. It would've been nice to take the city with him. I just can't afford to have him be bombarded a bunch. So, I guess I'll run you back here. You could get bombarded from the sea. Keep city. Rest and repair. Rest and repair. Um, oh, you can build a trader. That would be lovely. And tell you what, let's get another one over here. Oh, no, apparently I'm I'm good on traders. Uh, your production rates, rates aren't fantastic, but they're not the worst. You're not even housing capped. Tell you what, let's go and build a second tank army. Probably won't be done in time to be relevant to anything, but let's give it a go. You can start up on a repair job. We've got an envoy. We have three envoys, actually. You know, let's start working on Toronto. The extra range, even though it doesn't, like... Um, I'm just going to fortify here. Um, even though it doesn't overlap anymore, it's still going to be handy if we can get that. Another infantry army over here. Now, we might get killed going across the sea here, but that's a risk we're going to have to take. We'll take a Barbarian one, just the, for the trio. Ooh, we got a Chalice. And that will give us... Oh, different civilizations, but we didn't do the era thing. Oh, we got a Renaissance one, and the other two are medieval. Okay. We might do some swaps around later, but we'll leave it for now. Um, just go here for some production and food. And you're going to dig out some stuff here, too. Gobble. Ooh, kitty mummy. All right, so we got Sydney right away, which is good. We got a toehold. That was very important. We have to take Canberra. After that, we will see if we could peace out for, like, a ton of cities. Was a boy show built? I don't know. I should I should do a pass. Next time we got cities come up, I should check any wonders that might be possible. Um, can you declare war on someone you're friends with? Sorry, I can't commit to a friendship right now. Awesome. That, that was key, like not losing a random unit here. That is going to do wonders for our momentum. Yes, no. Think so. Chat's not being helpful. Just no an alliance. Uh, just not, it's not an alliance. So friend, you can declare war on friends. Nuclear arms race. All you're going to do is make the rubble bounce. If Cold War progress. Nuclear... Fusion. Uh, let's research some freaking lasers. We can't, if we can get missile cruisers going... It may or may not prove to be critical. We'll see. Um, I do need more money. You know what? Just go for the stock exchange. It's going to be okay, actually. Your production rate's pretty good right now. All right, you have a promotion, although I would kind of like to shoot at these guys. You, unfortunately, aren't in range of anything. Yeah, I think we should take these shots. Mobility here is kind of crappy. Um, oh yeah, that's a bombardment spot if we move there. But what it could do is something like this. And... move here for now, and we can move up and shoot it from higher range as we shuffle things about here. And that'll be okay. If I go here, I'm going to be shopping the encampment. 
but it might still be worth just moving units forward. That's not particularly forward, though. I'm going to leave you there, after all. Or, you know what? Swap. There we go. Since you can't heal this turn anyway, because you moved. That's good, yeah? <laughs> Quill has nukes before steam power. <laughs> this is fine. And what's funny, though, is nuclear power is steam power. It actually is. Like, you, you heat things with, with the nuclear... Uh, reaction. You heat water and spin turbines. Turbines are actually like one of the most like efficient ways of converting energy to electricity that we have access to. It's really amazing. No, I don't have any ships that could help. I don't have any ships at all. I don't think we even built a caravel at any point. I'm not sure. But I think that might be true. Yeah, we'll check for wonders here. I don't at a glance, it doesn't look like we've got any wonders. Lots of districts, though. Sydney, what you got? If winning isn't everything, nope. Why do they keep score? That's right. Why do they keep score? Uh, Cold War's got the spy stuff. Yeah. Naval unit production boost would also be nice, and an extra spy is going to be critical. So we're going to do all those things. Your population cap. Let's see if we can sneak in a neighborhood here. Um, I might... I don't know if, like, when we build the oil, if it'll decrease the beauty. Alright, I do need to save some money for upgrades, but I kind of also want to blow those tiles. Alright. So, if I unlink this balloon and go here. Oh, I'm, it's not what was supposed to move, but I guess it's fine. But you will now be in range here, but it's probably worth taking a second to upgrade you. This artillery is not in range of anything, but um, if I moved it here, it would be. Now, we might be a little vulnerable. I'm going to do this as a semi-sacrificial lamb. And that. And move you here. Cavalry is going to move up here to maybe give us some options to ninja a city with that. You're going to fortify and heal. And... Oh, that is... Dangerous all of a sudden. Shit. I didn't want that much of a sacrificial lamb. Because that is an, a mechanized infantry army. Okay, we can live without that. Now, we don't have access to that, right? What do we need for mechanized infantry? That. The rocket artillery would also be nice. We wouldn't need freaking lasers. Oh my god, we need to, like... <laughs> we need to pick up our steam power at this point. That is sick. <laughs> um, okay, never mind. Unlock the missile cruiser, because we can build that. But then, yeah, see if you can <laughs> rush up over here. Whatever, we can just nuke people, right? That's fine. Or we will whenever our builder gets down here. Where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. So soon. <laughs> it's like how the... Uh, um, I'm trying to remember which one was the one that was out of whack. I don't know. Um, it's like how the, like, the Greeks or whatever invented steam power. They got the little, was it, like, the heliotrope or whatever, the little ball that would spin. I mean, it wasn't anything they could actually, like, really, truly take advantage of, but a, 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 there's a possibility that they could have, like, thought, hmm, maybe we can power something with this. Krill, 1830 with no steam power. Yeah, I mean, we've got nuclear power! 
<laughs> We're researching freaking lasers! But not steam power. Oh my god, I can't believe we didn't lose anyone there. Oh, he actually moved back with the mechanized infantry army. I'm surprised. I mean, that's really good for me, because otherwise he definitely would have killed the unit, and it might have had a kind of a momentum thing going on. We do have some uh, reinforcing infantry moving in. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to stop spying on you. I'm sorry. That ain't going to happen. I'm going to stock exchange. Keep going into religious stuff, because there's actually still some possibility. We can't fight by units anymore, but... All is not lost. Um, Occupied, no growth. I'll still queue up a granary, because whatever. Jews escape route. Um... We're going to take the fastest way, because we can always just rebuild you. I was killed. We can rebuild him. Now, how are we going to go and tank here? I don't suppose either one of you got a promotion, huh? And you're not on... What happens if I pillage an outback station? I mean, as far as I know, you only get health from farms. Well, we can plunk this guy. Obviously, you have to run away. Yeah, I guess you're going to have to run away as well means these guys are unprotected. If they decide to run out. I think we're just going to have to accept that. Now, I could be... This unit... Um, if we had a balloon here... Hold on. You're not linked? Good. Go here. This unit could actually shoot at Canberra if we had vision. Which I could do with the cavalry. I mean, we could shoot from both places here, but I'm actually wondering if I need to knock down the encampment first. I feel like that's what I kind of have to do, because otherwise advancing is going to be very, very, very difficult. We'll go and shoot at this. It's not a particularly strong thing at all, but what the hell, right? Trade route. Okay. Oops, that's that's Australia here. This lake does definitely makes things a lot harder. But the plus three range I mean, even at plus three range, there's only two spots we could stand. Although if we blow this up, it'll be a little safer to move forward. Hmm. No, go away. I mean, if she were to declare war on me, she'd be fine. Ooh, you you did you actually blew up that? I mean, the field can was pretty obsolete. I didn't expect it to get one shot though. When God said, "Let there be light." He surely must have meant perfectly coherent light. So yeah, we'll work on stringing if we can get some missile cruiser armadas going on. Um, but otherwise... Yeah, we're going to hammer away at this thing. Stop it from shooting us. I'd like to heal with this guy at some point, but... There we go. Okay, so that thing can no longer shoot us, which is good. So you can move in here. You keep waiting and healing. You have healed, which is great. So just scooch up a bit. I guess that's that. Okay, then we move up against the city. <sighs> Disrupt rocketry. Well, let's give it a try. Mine. Excellent. I'm going to go 
there. Do that. That's fine. I suppose we could originate some trade routes out of uh, Sydney, but there's a good chance they would get plundered, so that might be bad. Now, assuming everything goes okay, we move in uh, in front of Canberra this turn. Well, how the artillery has no explosion sound, but the field cannons do. <laughs> uh, wait, the encampment bombarded me without walls? No, I'm not giving you my uranium. Bombarded me without walls? I guess we'll just have to take it properly. Although I can't. Alright, I'm going to move up with this guy. That said the encampment bombarded me. And I mean, that's just a guru, so... Major defeat. I think we're just gonna sacrifice the, uh, the cavalry here. If we die, we die. It means this thing's not gonna be useful for taking cities anyway. But yeah. Well, that's a shame. Now the question is, do I move this guy out, or is he... A little too bad off. I mean, I, apparently encampments do bombard until you capture it. Now, it... Okay, it actually counts as... Oh, I did get in there! For some reason, I thought I died. No, okay, I got it. I killed the guru, religious stuff. I was sorry, I was very confused. Obviously. You know, it was just being me. Alright, bombard the city. And... You can't bombard the city from here, and you may as well heal one turn. Which means I may as well heal one turn with that. Gandhi nuked me. You can start on a single missile cruiser, but that's not what we're looking for. Hey, well, why don't you try to sneak in the Venetian arsenal? <laughs> I don't think it'll matter, but what the hell, right? It's awesome. Balloon be linked. She taunted me mid-turn about my amenities? Seems odd. Okay. Um, let's just go and get some mines up there. I know, the cow's not dead. It's crazy. Oh yeah, Manhattan Project. Somewhere else though, but I probably should inter... Okay, yeah, let's be friends, because people are pretty sure I can still declare war on her. Uh, we'll start the Manhattan Project next turn here. Alright, that bombard is tolerable. It's very tolerable. It wouldn't even kill this guy. Might be a little bit more dangerous for my um, my artillery, but even then, I'm not sure. Science owes more to the steam. Science! Okay! Chaos Lord 48, which I believe is our capital, will get started on the Manhattan Project. Uh, Lamphere. No, so no one's built the Bolshoi. I don't have a spot for it here, but that's all right. Um, tell you what, why don't you get started on something like a harbor? Uh, not there, here, because we don't want to lose the science of that tile. There you go. And real Neltron. You could build the Bolshoi. Well, let's do it. Probably won't get there, but it's cool, so I will do it. I don't care about the Eiffel Tower. Um, we do have some happiness problems. Arena it is, then. You have a promotion. You know what? Stay there. Uh, when attacking range and siege units versus anti-cav, pillaging only costs one thing, flanking, movement... Whatever, grab that. You can, like, tank a shot for us. And 
turn. You know what? Go there after all, because... I'm going to move you here, and then I'll promote you after, in case you need a heal. Um, I may as well move this guy into bombardment range. Healing be damned. And rather than heal you, I will just start taking the shots, because we may have to, like... It may come down to one shot for, like, a timing thing. Alright, you're going to make your way across to... This should be fine, assuming you don't get sunk along the way there, which I'm sure won't happen. Oh, he's not quite dead. Okay. Uh, we've actually got 84% chance without disrupting, without acquiring sources. I'm going to do it. It's risky. Take a look at the uh, victory status. Culture. Teddy's going up there. We may have to declare war on him. Indonesia still has lots to do. John Curtin still has two things to do. Congo still has two things to do. All right. And religion, we know we haven't been taking over, so we're still okay there. Toronto declared war on Jadwiga. Wait, who's she at war with? Oh, Jadwiga, Poland. Oh, with Teddy. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Artillery in the encampment. Balloon on the lake, that's true. Okay, units are here. We definitely took damage there, but that was just from a bombard. I do need to take the city down quickly, but the I think war is we should thawing. focus on the units. It is burning with a deadly heat. So I think we need to run cartography. I'm going to get rid of Merchant Confederation. Uh, cryptography. I think I said cartography. We're going to do this. So we got faster and higher level spies. I'm still getting some money from Fee Market. Although it's possible that um, Merchant Republic or Merchant Confederation would give us more money than Free Market. I'm not sure. We are building more of the market building, so I think it's going to be all right. Lock that in there. Alien range units. Let's take that. I mean, we're at the housing capacity. We have no amenities. Um, oh, we can build a spy, but this place here can build, keep building armies. So I'm going to start on another artillery as a backup in case we start losing some. Hmm. I mean, I think I have to take out the units, but I'm being annoyed at being unable to trigger the target the cities. Um, also, it sucks that this one didn't get a promotion. Condemn Heretic. Neat! <laughs> I guess that's the plunder button. Alright, you chill there for a second. Alright. More troops. Yeah, so we've got some troops. They're slowly making their way across. Like, <laughs> taking a dozen turns to cross the sea. That's a big time commitment. Bam! Epic rap battles of religion. Yeah, I know I'm at negative money. We could see if uh, she's got any things she's willing to sort of deal with. Um, do you want coal? Oh, you do. Alright. Truffles and a coal for 17 gold per turn. Works for me. We are working on some um, some money buildings, stock exchanges. I think we'll be okay. Is 
That guy's been bopped, so. Oh, we got some Indonesian units over here. It wasn't 17 flat. No. See, because our gold per turn deficit went down, so. There's no way. I don't think she would have screwed me like that. <clears throat> you want our uranium? Nope. Um, we're just passing by. I mean, did you notice I'm fighting a war here? Oh, my, my troops are too close to your borders. Dude, the hell is wrong with you? The AI sometimes, they get really cranky really fast. We'll build a few of these culture buildings, too. Just to say we have a little bit of culture. What, what are you doing there? I'm sure you're supposed to be in the goddamn city healing up. And I never, ever misclick. So I'm sure that's clearly just a bug. <coughs> clearly. So unless I move, I don't have any targets to fire on except the city, so we will do that. Now, I could fire over here. I could upgrade, like promote, but I'm not at risk of being hit right now. I think the right answer is actually... Mm, I might want to wail on this guy. But no, because I can heal up. I will wail on the city. You will take your promotion for the healing. Um, I like amphibious for this. It's going to be fine. You will also promote. I'll give you the tortoise. And you are going to promote. I think I'm fairly pleased with that. where you are. Cap's probably about to get obliterated. So I'm just going to run away. I'm sure I never misclick. <laughs> you guys like that, huh? Uh, you're fairly big, but it is nicely farm triangle-ish. Now, let's get the production. Okay. Time is it? All right, we're good. Did I miss any tips? I super missed lots of tips. For some reason, I just got really lightheaded. I don't know why. Um, far poke. Thank you very much for the chocolate whiskey fund. I'm watching with a 21-year-old Glen Goyne. Huh. Aww. Any plans for some Factora now that 0.16 just got released? What? Oh! I gotta finish Bob's Angels on 0.15. I didn't realize 1.6 had actually been just released. Um, no, I'm gonna keep going with Bob's Angels. I've been, I was playing it yesterday and today. It's what's gonna happen, god damn it. <laughs> Larry King Ninja Com, thank you as well. I'm not sure I can turn it, tune in for the last streams of the year, so I wish you and your family happy holidays and a lot of chocolate and whiskey too. Thanks for all the fun throughout the year. Thank you very much, Lur Lurking Ninja Com. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to tune in for my last streams of the year. Um, you're safe here. Uh, there's going to be some that definitely get sort of skipped, but overall, I think most of the content should still be there. Um, so stay tuned. I guess I could have landed here and bopped that guy, but I'm just going to stay, stay there. It's going to be okay. Um... TG Vasovic, thank you very much as well. Hey man, finally got to ch catch a stream. Thank God. Are you going to do more vids like the Let's Eat Chocolate vids you did a couple of years ago? That was funny and enjoyable. Well, if people send me chocolates, I guess I'll have no choice but to eat them on screen. <laughs> oh, it's, well, point one six is still in just the like sort of beta, not full release phase. Did I still not lose a unit? Wow. Well, there's starting to be a fair number of stuff over here. We probably have to focus on bombarding this. And these guys are really low. It's a good thing we've got some reinforcements coming in. All right. You. Oh, yeah. Slight range issues, but. Shoot that. We're still not going to get the upgrade.
So, I mean, the, obviously the city bomb guard, bard can basically kill whatever the hell it wants. But we just have to accept that. Stadium. Hmm. I could slide this guy backwards and then move this guy over here. Although technically that doesn't stop, the zone of control can't stop them from attacking the artillery, but... I think that's probably for the best. And I will take a shot at these guys with the artillery. As well condemn some heretics while I'm here. Oh! And getting some more rap battles. What are we going to go improve with you? Right there. wish that winter was all around. See, the only people who wish they had more snow or wish that it was winter all year round don't live where we live. <laughs> well, you, oh, I could have pulled it into the water to protect it. You're right. No, we didn't end up losing two things there. So willing to make peace for a fair amount of stuff, but we clearly have to take Canberra. Yeah, I could have pulled it into the water. Maybe taking the shot was crazy. Because the artillery is really valuable. A world without radio is a deaf world. A world without ah! radio. More failures. Alright, rebuild the spy. Boom. Dead. Uh, do I want to just promote this guy? You know what? I do. Attack after moving is kind of nice, and the plus range, range is kind of nice. The heal's nice. Um, I will go and take the shot here rather than promoting him, and I realize that means we're not going to get all of our speed that we might want, but I think that was well worthwhile. You are going to pillage the farm to heal up. You're going to get up on this hill. We'll see if we can move to uh, prevent the city from healing later as well. Um, I'm going to move the cab back here. Just to sort of mess with these guys, and you will scooch up as much as you can here. Okay. Is it doing this thing where it's hard to tell which tile these guys are in? I they, they must be here. We have aluminium over here, and we have access to it already. We already have one as well, which is good, but um, we'll hook that one up for some bonus points. I think Canberra will fall, but this choke point really proved to be difficult for us. Uh, have you played any of the latest Path of Exile release? Um, no. No. This is the one with, like, the completely revamped endgame. Um, what I might have to do for that one is actually just play one of my old characters, like, on the non-league server. Although there's cool stuff in the league going... Well, I think there is. I don't remember what the difference is on this one. But no, I haven't played much. Here they got a... a a map stash tab, which is very cool. All right, let's bop this city. We bop this city. Uh, you are kind of boned. There's literally nothing this AT crew can do to save himself. He's a bit checkmated. Unless we can take the city this turn. No, that would be way too dangerous. Yeah, you just 
just rest is gonna be fine. Yeah. With the walls up and everything, it's too much. Um, oh, I can do this. Well, again, I can't save the unit because of the city bombard, but maybe it'll choose to bombard something else instead. Move the damage art where the cavalry is. Uh, he can't get there in one turn. Suppose I could move the cavalry here, and then the city will have to choose whether to bombard the AT crew or the artillery. Actually, I will take this risk. They might not be able to kill the artillery in one go. And in any case, it means it can fire next turn. Indonesia? Oh yeah, we joint ward! Holy crap! Indonesia! It sacrificed an artillery um, army for me. Promotion to Master Spy. Okay, so I'm not going to use the promotion on that unit yet. And there we go. I did lose that one. Which, I mean, I knew was probably going to happen. And maybe it was a really dumb, silly thing to do. But you're going to very slowly work on an artillery army. This balloon, I guess, can just link up with this guy. Sources. Just out of curiosity. We can take every single city except this capital, which you can't take in a peace deal. I think it's done. I think we win this war. <laughs> Should we take it, guys? Should we take a peace deal for every single city he's got except the one last one? <laughs> and we could always redeclare in 10 turns and take, uh, take Canberra then. <laughs> Uh, we can liberate Jerusalem. No, let's just keep the city. It's fine. <laughs> Woo! Well, that's fun. Let's get a shipyard going on here. Um, you need some amenities. Yeah, you definitely do. Let's get a stadium up. Um, they're quite unpleased as well. Uh, why don't you get started? Sorry, on an entertainment complex. Look at all the unimproved tiles over here. How is how does the AI do so well without? Oh, did we lose all the? Um, oh, we did. All those tiles were improved by the uh, Outback Station. That's what was going on there. Darn, that's a shame. need a bunch of builders, I guess. Oh, I didn't even know you had a city over here. Look at this. You can get everything, so it's obviously lost. <laughs> um, so, there is still... I mean, the capital is pretty big. and has a lot of wonders. I think we're going to plan on taking it on a subsequent war, just, just for cuz. Unless we want to put all our attention on Indonesia at this point, which I kind of feel might be a thing we have to worry about. 
On the other hand, Teddy keeps getting a lot more tourism quite quickly. Now, see, Indonesia's still got tons of time before they go to space. They don't even have all the techs. What's their tech rate? 209. I mean, obviously mine's a lot better now, but... Her tech rate's not that bad. I'm surprised she doesn't have them all. Maybe she wasn't getting as many tech boosts? Oh! And that's right. Baltimore has the Petra. Well! We have no choice! It's literally impossible for us to not declare war on America. Um, so, what I propose is that we position our troops over here. Especially since we can literally start right next to New York. But how? How did this happen? Can Australia culture pop? Did he settle right next to the border? Because I think in Civ 6 you're allowed to legally settle right next to the border. In Civ 5 you couldn't. How did... Because yeah, I don't think you can... Uh, I don't think you can culture bomb as Australia. Is it something with their... Um, their, their cattle? Pastures, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Their pastures. All right, whatever. Anyway, yeah, we're going to move all our troops uh, adjacent to New York, and then we'll go to war against America uh, because because of Petra. So get over there. Oh, and you hit him. Yeah, we're B-landing stuff. I think it's probably worth grabbing a few of these things to give a boost for, actually. Teddy has double your army. But does he have double our skill? Okay, maybe. Uh, we're, we're gonna have some new stuff before we declare that war. It's not like he's gonna win with the next ten turns or anything like that. America has cities on both sides of one of your new cities. Well, because... Yay, capitalism. Hooray. Um, there's Detroit over here. That's not really a thing. And I mean, there's this. We, now, we don't have Canberra over here, which is slightly annoying, but hardly the end of the world. I'm actually wondering if we might just, just redeclare on Australia first. Because that would give us a really good front. But I think we can hold off. Uh, let's build a new trader over here. That sounds okay. And another one there. Oh, because we can have up to ten now. Nice. Like, because... How long is it going to take to get over here? By the time we get units over here... And I mean, there's Cincinnati as well, I guess. Um, maybe that's what people were talking about. By the time we get over here, we'll, the truce will have broken with Australia. I'm thinking we just sit and wait. Um, is Adelaide ours? Adelaide's ours. There's not a lot of room here, but we can position ourselves there. Tanks! Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. And yeah, we need a lot of builders, too. Um, you need to go here and heal. Rocket artillery will help. Mm -hmm. How's our money? Still losing slightly. That's what we get for not having international trade routes and a very militaristic um, government. I don't need your aluminum. I would love... 391 gold per turn? What? Oh, I can't give you uranium. I don't think the oil is a problem. Yeah.
Poland is super good at making gold. You don't like my destruction of the earth? You ain't seen destruction yet, buddy. <laughs> Holy balls gotta love AI cheats. In the hierarchy of the major poetic substances. Alright, there's plastics. So yeah, rocket artillery and satellites are both fairly quick. Unfortunately, we're not going to get a boost out of the precursors, but yeah, the, the technology rate's really good. And we might, like, go for modern armor after that. <laughs> like, we might at some point get jet bombers? I don't know. So the Australian cities need to build builders, but back over here... Yeah, it's probably good. Let's go ahead and get another um, artillery army. Why don't you slowly build a builder here? Same thing here. We're going to get a bunch of them on the front. And yeah, we were going to want our infantry armies right behind here so they can move forward and tank when the war starts. Yeah, they might not even have their walls built yet. That sounds wrong. Oh, you're probably quoting the gold per turn trade about crabs. There it is. Just remember how cheap Elizabeth used to be. She gave you crabs for five gold. <laughs> Upgrade that cab MVP, get a helicopter. You know, I see what you're saying. I can't believe that guy survived. Wow, like, you total throwaway distraction, and somehow, like, what a hero unit. Let's start a jet fighter here. Mostly because we can. So, I mean, I could be going for money trade routes again if I was sure that I'm not going to declare a war on whoever it is. Well, I guess I'm not declaring war on Lisbon. So, sure, let's do that. You're healed up. Mm, I don't see a target to go and do rap battles with at a glance. Oh, way down here. I, have, I haven't actually let go of the right mouse button. I clicked on the Inquisitor when he was over here. I held the right mouse button, my mouse was here, and he went that away. And I hadn't actually let go. Okay, sure. We've seen this before. We've seen this before with movement in Civ 6. Merge cab with core helicopter army. Oh, that's true. So I got plenty of planes. You're going to offer me a bunch of gold for some things I have extras. I don't care about open borders either way, but yeah, let's take some more money. Cheers, bro. I'm happy you're over that whole war thing again. A Q shirt. Science uh, has been mythologized rocketry. Hey, we can finally start doing something with these spaceports we find out about. Right, transporting air units. Um, I, is there anything specific that I need over here? Um, that's international trade outs. Might be worth, like... I think we can basically just get whatever we've got to boost to. It's going to be okay. Um, so that's that, that's that. Oh, you're way over your housing. I mean, it might not matter anymore, but... Let's do it anyway. You are not happy. Why not? I was going to say, I can swap some of these. Boom. You're also not happy. I like no luxuries to spare over there is the problem. All right, the weirdly moving Inquisitor, where are you going? Nowhere, apparently. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, we can trade with the Congo. Not a ton of money, but the heck, let's do it. So we need some money for upgrades. Okay! I'm wondering if I should spy on, on the Americans, just get a little bit of vision over there. But no, I think the right idea is still aggressively espionage against um, against Indonesia. Just to keep bopping their space buildings. Even though we haven't had a ton of luck with that. Oh, I could Inquisition Quilla, that's true. You're gonna go and stand over there. I'm assuming the truce lasts 10 turns. I don't know. Did you give me back a spy? I mean, that beats building one. We have a lot of excess luxuries. Hey, what? Should ask for a city. Ask for whales. And... 52 gold per turn. There we go. Bunch of luxuries, whales, get my spy back, and 52 gold per turn. My internet just died. My internet just went down. Oh no! Oh no!